March 23, Saturday, Saturday of the second week of Lent. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When he had freely spent everything, a severe famine struck that country, and he found himself in dire need. Coming to his senses, he thought, How many of my father's hard workers have more than enough food to eat? But here am I dying from hunger. I shall get up and go to my father, and I shall say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. Treat me as you would treat one of your hard workers. So he got up and went back to his father. While he was still a long way off, his father caught sight of him and was filled with compassion. He ran to his son, embraced him, and kissed him. His son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. But this father ordered his servants, Quickly, bring the finest robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Take the fattened cup and slaughter it. Then let us celebrate with a feast, because the son of mine was dead and has come to life again. He was lost and has been found. Then the celebration began. Now the older son became angry, and when he refused to enter the house, his father came out and pleaded with him. He said to his father in reply, Look, all these years I served you, and not once did I disobey your orders. Yet you never gave me even a young goat to feast on with my friends. But when your son returns, who swallowed up your property with prostitutes, for him you slaughtered the fattened calf. He said to him, My son, you are with me always. Everything I have is yours. But now we must celebrate and rejoice. Because your brother was dead and has come to life again, he was lost and has been found. The Gospel of the Lord The older son became angry. The basic trust of the parable is to present the extravagance of the father's kindness and forgiveness for his sons. Jesus, however, emphasizes the behavior of the older brother, mirroring the scribes and Pharisees, who think they are righteous but cannot rejoice over the father's magnanimity in the joy of finding the lost. The older brother's speech betrays that he is, after all, not totally obedient internally or happy in his father's presence, and that in fact, he has been envious of his younger brother all this time. He cannot see the truth that everything his father possesses is also his and at his disposal.